What is clear so far in our review is that the waivers were not granted consistently. That may not be news to business owners who have been complaining about this from the very beginning. The waiver program appears to be a subjective process built on shifting sands of changing guidance, which led to significant confusion among business owners. We have verified that waiver decisions were being made by multiple individuals based on constantly changing guidelines and relying on justification statements provided by businesses. To be clear, our analysis is this was not a level playing field for businesses across Pennsylvania. Some smaller businesses may not have used the correct buzzwords in their waiver justification, or they just didn't ask their legislature, legislator for assistance to get a waiver. The inconsistencies in the responses provided by DCD illustrate the point that sometimes it made a difference depending on who in DCD was evaluating the application of not only to the business, but that particular application, because obviously businesses were getting different answers from multiple applications. To help handle the waiver request, DCD used a call center to address questions about the process. Between March 20 and April 6, the department says it received 31,244 calls and 4,150 emails. Much like the formal responses to waiver applications at the call center, the answers received often depended on who took the call. I wanna say this, DC is cooperative with my team, but there are still outstanding issues that must be resolved before the audit can be completed. In short, the investigation continues. Pennsylvanians deserve honest answers about how this process was handled and what role outside influence may have played in whether businesses were treated fairly and consistently. I've asked the governor's office to provide more details and we are waiting for that information. Meanwhile, my audit is going to continue until it's complete. Nothing and no one will keep me from doing a thorough job. 